When someone lands on your website and they don't know about you or your business, where do you think they go? They go to your about page. That's one of the most important pages on your website. It's not gonna be the most visited page, but it's gonna be the page that determines if someone's gonna stick around and come back or leave. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to create an effective about page. So the first thing you need to do is connect with your readers or visitors. Whether it's a page about you or a page about your brand, you need to create a story. That's how you connect. If you go to the neilpatel.com about page, it's neilpatel.com slash about, you'll notice that I create a story. I break down who I am, what I teach, and how my mission is to help you. Without doing that, I wouldn't connect. And as you can see, because I've connected with people within a two minute video, you'll notice that there's hundreds and hundreds of comments on that page. Now the funny thing is, is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, and in the bottom right you click a flag, right? Instead of a US flag, you click on the Portuguese or Brazil flag or whatever it may be, you'll notice the about page in different languages. I also connect with people in different languages. A video, even though that video is transcribed, in essence it's translated with subtitles, it still has hundreds of comments. Why? Because I'm creating that emotional connection. That's the power of storytelling. It doesn't matter what language someone speaks, if you can create amazing stories and connect with people, then they'll be engaged, they'll continually come back, they'll be loyal, and as they're loyal, what you'll notice is they'll tell other people about your business. They're more likely to buy products and services from you. Just like how you're loyal with, let's say, Amazon, or Facebook, or Google, right? No one really uses Bing. They have really good results as well, but eh, you're more connected with Google because it's been around longer, you know it works, and they don't have a ton of stuff going on within their web pages. That's why people started using Google. It was a clean, simple search engine with amazing results. Now with your about page, you need to do a few things. One, we mentioned doing storytelling. So that's how you connect with people. Stories go down from generations to generations. The next thing you need to do is not just talk about your business, but you need to talk about how you're gonna help the visitor who's coming to your website. If you don't help them, there's no point for them to stick around. It's not about you, it's about them. Always put other people before yourself. The third thing you need to do is be very impactful. What I mean by being impactful is you need to connect by using adjectives, words that convey emotion, power words, right? When you do this, you're more likely to connect with people versus just using text that's boring. And that's why if you look at my story, I talk about how my goal is to help people who aren't making that much money, people who are starting off, because I started that way, right? I'm conveying that throughout the messaging. You also want to keep it short. That's the fourth thing. If it's too long, if your about page has more than 500 words, or it is more than, let's say, a two minute video clip, you're going on too much and you're going to get a big drop off. The fifth thing you need to do is leave an action point. Most people on their about page, they just say, hey, this is me, and that's cool, check it out. Well, what is there to do after people read it? Should they check out your products? Should they check out your services? Should they leave a comment? Give them some direction. By doing that, they're more likely to connect and go from being a visitor or reader into a customer. That's how you create an effective about page. 